we are going to make our brake lights come on and off when we press the brakes key. In my hierarchy, I'm going to click the arrow next to my tuned sports car. I'm going to expand the body, click the arrow next to that, and you'll see there's a brakes game object. If I click on that, I can set it to be active by clicking this checkbox, and you'll see the brakes can come on and off. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to our car script and we're going to do basically the same thing we did with the nitrous. So we're going to say public game object. We're going to call this one breaks. So now we have a reference to a game object. We're going to scroll down to see where we have the input that get key, the key code S. So if we press the S key, that's our breaks. We're going to say breaks that set active, open parentheses, true inside the parentheses, and a semicolon at the end. That will make them come on. Now we need to make them go off. So right after the if statement at the end of the closing bracket, I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to type else. That's going to give me another condition. Hit enter again, and then an open bracket and it'll give me the close bracket. Remember, don't delete it, hit enter. And here, I'm gonna try breaks.setActive, and I'm gonna make it false. The end of the line, a semicolon. So if I'm pressing the S key, it's gonna be true, else or otherwise, it'll set it to false. I'm gonna save my script, go back into Unity. I'm gonna click on my tuned sports car, and now I have to have a reference to that breaks game object, so I'm going to drag.